My name is Vincent Everts, and I'm talking to Tai Al Runya, and he's the uh, founder of uh, Taiken. And uh, last year I met him at the uh, Blockchain Innovation Conference, and he had a very inspirational story about uh, providing um, resilient identity. And, um, and, and we're talking about the upcoming ICO of his uh, company. Can you first talk about uh, Taiken for a second and how the story got about? Sure. Uh, Taiken is an emerging technology company. We are working in the digital identity space. Uh, it started actually in a refugee camp in the Assad Sey of Zeist, or the refugee camp of Zeist in the city of Utrecht. Uh, there in the room E18, where I was uh, living for two years, mm -hmm. we felt the pain of refugees who are not able to verify themselves, who are not able to verify their academic certificates, their land titles, and even their birth and marriage certificates. Uh, you come from so where you come? This, where you from? Uh, this is. I'm. I'm also uh, Syrian, uh, and I share one thing with the refugees that came. Is I also don't have a birth certificate. Uh -huh. So my personal experience, yeah. with the experience that I was living there, and the fact that we are having so many natural disasters, so many wars appearing. And people are losing their identities. Uh, Taiken came uh, to birth. Okay, yeah, that's a wonderful, good personal inspiration. And you came up with uh, to work with the Red Cross to uh, have a system on the blockchain that people can have their identity back or slowly build it up. Uh, how does that work? True. The uh, Red Cross had a challenge in uh, their relief mission in San Martin, which is uh, identification of uh, people and beneficiaries. So in order to deliver the aid, we need to know who are we giving this aid to. And every time the hurricane happens, it is a challenge for aid organizations to come and identify people. So we work together with the Red Cross on a one-time registration solution by leveraging the resiliency of blockchain. Uh -huh. And this is how the idea came to, uh, to, to be useful. Yeah. Yeah, so it makes perfect sense. The, they go through a lot of work. The uh, the Red Cross goes through a lot of work to identify somebody. And then you say the moment they move out of the island, they have to delete everything and nothing is left. And and what you do is to put that, verif that verified uh, identity from the Red Cross, you put it on a public blockchain, and the owner becomes, you know, the, 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 the person itself becomes the owner, gets the private key, and gives other people's access to the verified identity by the Red Cross or any other uh, organization, right? True. Yeah, that, that's totally true. And the beauty of, of what we're doing is we took privacy into consideration into, into the tech core of uh, the solution. So although we are building uh, our own or, our, or we are building a new distributed identity attestation and governance uh, system, mm -hmm. yet... Only the user and only the verifier have this mutual relation where they are able to see, yes, this person has been verified. We are not saving privacy, uh, in, intriguing data on a public chain, such as first name, last name, date of birth. So we're not just hashing names and registering them on the, on the chain. This is not what, what we are doing. It's more way complex uh, than that. Yeah. Uh, but... The reason we wanted to go for the public chain is the resiliency and the open source nature of, of such a technology. Yeah, no, it makes perfect sense. And the only thing is you have to be able to work with all these eight institutions, which is not True. easy, and all these rules and regulation. I mean, it's just like we're spending unbelievable amount of money and very, very, and, and, and only a small amount uh, is, is getting to the right hands. And would it be fa wonderful to have a digital identity and with that identity that you get a bank account and that people could send money and I can imagine it's an important part. Okay, yes. that we talked about uh, last year and, um, and you gave, uh, I mean, on your website, Taiken, there's a nice interview where you, um, where you uh, uh, demonstrated that, um, where you basically explained it last year at the, um, at the, blockchain, uh, at the blockchain conference. So that's uh, really nice. Uh, now you're going for an ICO, so you're going to present at the Blockchain 2000 Blockchain Innovation Conference 2018, and you're going to try to become the best uh, Dutch ICO. What is what are you going to do with your tokens? What is the use of it? How much money do you want to raise? And uh, yeah, tell me all yep. about it. 
So the uh, token that uh, uh, Taiken will be launching is called the Ana token. Ana in Arabic means me. So it refers to the self-sovereignty of the user. Mm -hmm. It is basically a utility token where it allows for digital attestations to be uh, paid for in a one-time registration fee. And the money that we want to raise will heavily go into developing this infrastructure, into marketing, advertising, training, and education. Because we saw the challenge among many institutions, governments, and even the public to understand the uh, token models, not only behind Taiken, but behind every single ICO that is going there. So we, yeah. there is a heavy amount of training and education for the public, for institutions, in order to teach them how to use cryptocurrencies and to teach them the merits of blockchain technology. Yeah, but I mean, the token, in the end, uh, I mean, we are interested, we're going to give you, we're buying those tokens, we're getting some, uh, you're getting the money. You're going to yeah. use that token so that organizations can put an identity on the blockchain so that I, as a refugee, get my own identity, and it's paid for those referee, uh, refugee uh, organizations, right? Yes. Yeah. yes. And you're going to not, so not only do it for uh, not only do it for, um, for for red crosses, but you're also going to do it for commercial. You're going to be an identity provider for commercial agencies. How is yes. that going to work? What kind of service yes. can you provide I, I for would, them? I would, I would give you an example. So one of our uh, aims, one of our goals, is to work, for example, with Heineken and have this beer vending machine where you're able to send a token to this vending machine and it will give you a beer. Uh, maybe for buying uh, cigarettes and proving your age, you're above 18 and, or under 18, you can use these, these type of, of uh, tokens. So it is, as you said, it is not only for aid organizations and the humanitarian sector, but this is where we see now the value and the need for it. But banks, financial institutions, insurance companies, they can also benefit from such type of digital uh, distributed attestations. Okay, so for me, I can make an identity on the Taiken uh, uh, blockchain. And, I, and then, of course, I want to make that identity stronger by using DigiDay or by using a bank system or by using LinkedIn or by using and, and building. And, and that's what you yes. also want to... Okay, yes. so... Yes. That's what you're going to pitch on uh, on June the seventh. Uh, when is your um, when is your private sale starting? Our private sale will be starting mid of uh, July. It will go for approximately forty five days, uh, and from there we will see our uh, goals and uh, achievements. Uh, whether do we need to go for another funding round for a pre sale, or is that uh, is that enough? Yeah. You were uh, you were in that uh, in that I don't want to say prison camp, but that <laughs> referee camp camp for two years, right? Yeah. You couldn't yeah. work. You couldn't. You came from Syria. No. You couldn't work. You yeah. were well educated. You spoke uh, you spoke English, and you you sat there on your hands for a couple of years. True. That must have felt was, very frustrating. Yeah. Yeah. True. It was frustrating. Actually, I came from Dubai to the Netherlands in two thousand and eleven to work in the healthcare industry as a corporate trainer. My work contract in 2014 was not renewed. And since my father is Syrian, I carry the Syrian nationality. My mom is American. She has the American nationality. So uh, I was not able to uh, go back to Lebanon. I was not able to go to the US because of my Syrian passport. The only <laughs> chance that I had is to stay in the Netherlands. Yeah. Now. To stay in the Netherlands is to apply actually for for uh, asylum. So in the asylum in the asylum camp, you are you have to give your ID. So I had to give my driving license back. I had to give my what we call in Dutch the verblijfsvergunning or my uh, residency permit. I had to submit it back. So I became literally an invisible man. It's not only written on my ID that I'm born and unknown, but now I became with no ID, with no bank accounts, with nothing. All what I had was my smartphone. And it was very frustrating. 24 hours before that moment, you're, you're, you're sleeping in your own bed, you have your own home, you have your own shower. And 24 hours later, you're sharing a room with people you don't know, with uh, high tension and high frustration among the residents of this uh, camp. The only thing that 
literally saved my life was my smartphone mm. because I was an early adopter of Bitcoin technology, an early miner in the Netherlands in 2012. And I know what is Bitcoin and what is cryptocurrencies. And I continued my journey in the refugee camp. So I started earning Bitcoin while I was in the camp. While the camp is giving us a specific meals for morning, you get uh, three slices of bread, you get three slices of cheese. For lunch, you get an egg and you get a cup of soup. And for dinner, you get cooked rice with some vegetables. I was the guy who ordered pepperoni pizza from Thais Bizor Pintanel <laughs> to my room in the refugee camp in Ter Appel. And even the volunteers there, Enter Apple, they were thinking, you know, how, how are you doing that? You know, you guys, it's, yeah, you can have money as a refugee, you can have cash. That's not a problem. But how are you able to order and pay online for these things? Because crypto pizza yeah. companies, they will not bring food for you if you don't pay it, especially Enter Apple. They won't, they won't deliver it if you don't pay it up front. So Bitcoin was, was my way to continue uh, my life, to eat what I like, to drink what I like, and actually to earn money. Yeah. I was translating articles from Arabic to English, English to Arabic, writing blogs about crypto, and the community, the Bitcoin community, was donating for me. They didn't knew I was a refugee. They just liked the articles that I wrote, and they were sending few uh, euros to my, to, my, uh, to my wallet. So I am a Bitcoin.com global moderator, yeah. I speak publicly about the technology, and this is this is the real power of crypto. Yeah, and this so is, interesting. This is, I mean, you yeah. will be also talking. That there will be Wakar Zakab. Yes. He will be yes. there. He, uh, I mean, he's a he's a TV star in Pakistan yeah. and Dubai. But he's yeah. helping refugees from Syria, and he's teaching them crypto, and he's teaching them mining, and he's teaching them yeah. how to fish. With this kind yep. of stuff, so that will be interesting to have that uh, experience uh, together. So we will be uh, we will be talking about it. Okay, well, Ty, um, good luck. We'll see you on um, on June Thank the seventh. I mean, it's obviously Thank that you, you are Vincent, uh, so much. And one last message I want to share with you is, in your event uh, that you run last year, there was also some life changing moments for Tyken, where uh, we met with. Many people, we met, for example, with Sefirion. Today, we have built a partnership with them. Together, we, we are going to Aruba also to discover some digital identity stuff there. Uh, these events that people like you host, run, and sponsor is the things that we need in the community to move on forward. So I want to thank you again for hosting us this year, and I'm really looking forward to meeting you again. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you, Thank you very Thank you. much, Ty. See you June the Thank 7th. You. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.